It is a breath of fresh air for one of the Bay Area's most polluted neighborhoods. And today the state opened a first of its kind clean air center designed to give people relief from wildfire smoke. And we've all felt the effects from these smoky days lately. But in the Bayview Hunters Point neighborhood of San Francisco, air quality is a very serious health hazard. In fact, it's under four square miles that area. But the state has recognized it as bearing the biggest pollution burden in the city. It is home to a large number of polluting sites, most notably the former Hunters Point Naval Shipyard, a federally designated Superfund hazardous waste site. It also houses a wastewater treatment plant and is near the San Francisco port and also two major freeways. Now, people who live in the Bayview, they've been fighting for pollution rights for decades, fresh air for decades, including a community activist who died of lung disease. And KPX 5 Sarah Donchi spoke to her daughter, who calls this new Clean Air Act an important first step. Okay. Arian Harrison spends her days thinking about what's around her, not the sweeping views or the city lights, but the air she breathes. Clean up all radioactive toxic, toxic waste in the Bayview. Arian has been fighting for environmental justice in San Francisco's Bayview Hunters Point community, where she grew up with her mother, Marie, a lifelong activist who died of lung disease. Her mother never smoked. She fought to her last day to make sure that some of these things could be resolved. She's seen our kids getting sick on that hill and nobody cared. On Tuesday, Arian was one of dozens who marked the opening of the state's first clean air center inside the Bayview Linda Brooks Burton Branch Library, fitted with air purifiers and meant to serve as a haven for people on smoky days due to wildfires. But here, in one of the city's most polluted communities fueled by years of industrial waste, fires are only a small piece of a larger problem. It's easy to ignore a place where the predominantly poor people and people of color live. That's why Harrison has continued her mom's work for a foundation that bears her name, pushing for the removal of toxic waste from the Hunters Point shipyard. Our young kids are, are, being, are, are being poisoned, literally, from living here in this community. It's a high price to pay that Ariane knows too well. She has raised her own children in Bayview, just like her mother. She's getting nosebleeds and complaining of headaches. She was only like seven years old. Dozens more of these clean air centers will open up all across the Bay Area, and Ariane considers that a win when it comes to getting people to think about air pollution, especially in underserved communities like hers. Her community organization's website, canwelive.org, raises money for scholarships and environmental justice programs. Juliet, Sarah, thank you. And there have been studies as early as 1995 that suggest higher than normal cancer rates in the Bayview. Now, the city health department did its own survey in 2006 and found 86% of children born in the Bayview developed severe asthma before kindergarten. And a 2021 study in the journal Nature Communications found that living near a hazardous waste site like the Hunters Point shipyard is linked to a lower life expectancy.